Yo, what's going on, gambling Twitter and my fellow DJs? It is I, the Gale, back at it again with another first look prize picks NBA video for January 24th, 2023. So, uh, to start things off, let's look at yesterday's action so we can learn from our mistakes and or, you know, wins. So yesterday, we, I went 0 for 4, didn't hit a thing. Even with the flex plays, you can't make this shit up. So let's look at it. Derek White in a good spot. No Malcolm Brogdon, no uh, Mar Marcus Smart. He got 19 PRA. His PRA was 21.5. He he A 3 would have did it, right? So he fell just short. DeMontis Sabonis, Mr. Triple Double. He fell five points short of his uh, 40.5 PRA with 35 points. Walker Kessler, centers versus Hornets is a smash spot for centers. He got 22 PRA. His PRA was 23.5 that he needed to clear. You can't make it up. Um, and then Jante Murray cleared by one point. By, no, he cleared by 0.5 points. So a, a turnover and he would have missed. You can't make it up, my friends. The, we are betting on coin flips. Look at this, man. It's, the lines are too close. Like, do we need to start going unders? Do we need to start betting unders? Because I know I will guarantee you the second we start betting unders, they all going to hit. We, You know what? We're going to do an under today. We're going to do a, a whole under slate today, and I bet you all of them hit. That's what always happens. So another four picks. Steven Adams didn't play. Walker Kessler missed by 1.5 points. Shen Goon failed his PRA by one. He didn't even come close to his fantasy score. And then Edwards cleared uh, fairly easily. And then we'll go to Jalen Brown. He got 34. His PRA was 37. Go figure. He missed by three points. DeJounte Murray missed his PRA by 1.5 points. But he cleared his fantasy score. And then Markkinen cleared by one point, guys. He cleared by 0.5 points. So it's literally coin flips we are betting on. We are betting on coin flips. I cannot emphasize that enough. So if you're going on a cold streak, do not feel bad. Like... You're literally betting on heads or tails. Is it going to be less or more? Like, by we're talking about points. Like, you know what I'm saying? So do not feel bad if you've been on a cold streak like myself. I don't feel bad. I mean, I feel bad because I'm losing money, but I don't feel bad because I know I don't suck at making picks. I just know that, like, you can't you, you can't know if somebody's going to get in foul trouble or, or if uh, somebody's going to miss 100 shots, right? You can only pick the best player and hope that they perform. So with that being said, Let's go over to the sports book like we like to do and see which games we might want to target for today's NBA slate. Can't make this up. We're gonna have to start going unders or something because every like we I don't get I don't know man. But I, I I guarantee you the second we start going under, watch what happens. They're gonna be clearing with ease. So once again, the Bulls best looks looking like the best game on the slate with a, a two thirty six total, one point spread. You know who to go to. Levine, DeRozan, Vucevic. Uh, with with uh, Halliburton now, maybe TJ McConnell. Um, you know, he, he likes to go off when I don't play him, and then when I do play him, he likes to fall short. So it is what it is. And then maybe Miles Turner. Um, then we got the Celtics-Miami Celtics, Celtics -Miami Heat. I'm not feeling this game. I'm thinking slow pace, defensive, playoff-type atmosphere. Uh, but if you gotta go any, if you got to go anywhere, of course, of course Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, forget Derek White. We're not going back to Derek White. He doesn't. He doesn't get enough usage. He has to have like an outlier game to hit his hit his PRA and fantasy score. Miami Heat, we got Bam Adebayo, Butler, maybe a little bit of Hero. And then we got um, the Knicks Cavs, 220, 220 total, three-point spread. Julius Randle, he failed me uh, betting-wise. He didn't hit his points, but he's been going off. You know, you can bet his fantasy score or PRA. His rebounds seem to be insta-cash, except for when we play him, right? As soon as we play him, he's probably going to get like eight rebounds. But we'll see, man. You can go to Julius's um, rebounds. And then we got um, um, R.J. Barrett, his points, and maybe a little bit of Brunson if he decides to play. Um, then we got the Nuggets, Pelicans, 233 total, one-point spread. We got the Joker if he plays this game. Jamal Murray, of course, in a great spot. Uh, on, the, on the Pelican side, we got C.J. McCollum, um, Joe Val. How is Joe Val going to do against Jokic? I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, that's all I'm liking from the Pelicans. We got the Wizards, uh, Mavs, 225 total, seven point spread. Luca the Dom, always, you know, uh, you just play him and hope he comes through and doesn't turn human, right? Um, and then on the Wizards side, if Bradley Bill doesn't play, probably a little bit of Porzingis and a little bit of Kuzma. And that's all I'm liking from that. 
Charlotte Hornets, Phoenix Suns, 231 total, seven point spread. Uh, I'm liking Mason Plumley per usual. Terry Rozier, LaMelo, if he plays, maybe. Um, and then on the Sun sides, Aiden, if he plays. We got Centers versus Hornets again. Aiden should come through with a, a big double double, if I'm guessing, if I had to guess. And that's all I'm liking from the Suns. And then we got the Clippers and Lakers. I don't like the Clippers, man. You never know what they're going to do. But if Paul George plays and Kawhi doesn't, you play Paul George, vice versa. And if they don't play, then just forget it because you, you, you never know. And then maybe a little bit of uh, Zubac. Uh, maybe Zubac can have a game versus the Lakers. Centers have been going off versus the Lakers lately. And then on the Lakers side, you got Westbrook. Uh, Thomas Bryant has kind of been falling off, losing minutes to Wendell Gabriel. So uh, we don't know about Thomas Bryant. We're going to leave him alone. Basically, basically Westbrook and uh, LeBron, if he plays. So with that, let's go over to Line Star real quick and have a look-see at what the matchups might be telling us. Let's see who we, who we might want to focus in on a little bit more. Because this is crazy, man. You need all the help you can get with this stuff. Uh, like, Oh, okay. So Zubac is at the very top. He might be a great play versus the Lakers. Like I said, centers have been going off. Everybody's been going off. You see all the green. Uh, we got Bam Adebayo versus the Boston. Centers versus Boston used to be a thing in fantasy. Um, it could still be. It's looking like it might still be. So Bam Adebayo is in play. We got Maison Pomli. Um, I said it French. I know he's not French. But, uh, yeah, we got Maison Pomli. He's in the, always in a good spot. Always Mr. Mr. Uh, consistent, Mr. Reliable. And then we got Vucevic and Jokic down here in solid spots. So, uh, yeah, with that, let's go to power forward. Uh, Mobley is in a good spot, it seems, but I'm not really on him. Um, we got Rando in a, you know, in the in the middle position. Then we got LeBron James, you know. So let's go to shooting for small four. Mikael Bridges is in a great spot. If he, let's see what he's been doing. Let's see, 24 points, 22 points, 28 points, 21 points, five, four rebounds. Okay, Mikael Bridges has been has been performing pretty admirably, I guess, without CJ or CP3 and Booker. So maybe we could look to Bridges today. Uh, Michael Porter, Levert seems to be in a good spot. Uh, we got to check out the Donovan Mitchell, Mitchell situation with Levert. Let's go to shooting guard. We got uh, Terry Rose, scary Terry. Okay, Terry might we, Terry might be in play. He's in a great spot. Uh, they're 30th versus shooting guards, Phoenix Suns. Mitchell's in a great spot if he plays. Levine's in a great spot. Bill's in a good spot if he plays full minutes. Uh, Hero, okay. And then Paul George, I've seen him down there. And then we got uh, Doncic in a great spot. He should go off versus these Wizards. Garland's in a good spot. Kyle Lowry. Um, I don't know about Kyle Lowry, though. And then we got McCollum in a solid position. And then TJ McConnell, not in the bad spot either. So with that, let's go to prize picks and see what is currently available. We're not going to force any picks today. If I don't see anything I don't like, then I'm not going to play it until we get more options. So we got Bam. Let's go to PRA. Bam, 33.5. That's That looks like it's doable. We got Randall. Um, McCullum, McCullum. Let's see, let's see. <clears throat> um, not too many options at the moment. Um, if I had to like gun to my head, if I had to pick something, I would probably go Bam. I like that. Uh, it's either Jalen Brunson or Julius Randle. We'll go Randle rebounds because he, how many? What's twelve point five? Yeah, that's doable. Versus, uh, yeah, we like that actually. We like that a lot. And then we go points. Uh, maybe we go Barrett points. I mean, 22 is kind of stretching it. That's kind of like his ceiling. Well, it's not his ceiling, but it's close to it. So I don't know if we want to go there. But Luca, of course. Yeah, we can always count on Luca as a last resort. If it, Yeah, where's he? They don't have his PRA? See, they're cheating. Where's Luca's PRA? How are you going to have his uh, points, but you don't have his PRA? 34 points. See, that's getting high, man. That's getting high. We might want to go under there, but... It's Luca, man. It's hard to fade Luca. Um, so, like I said, my friends, um, I don't see too many options that I like right now. And if anything, we need to start picking some unders because, like, this stuff don't be hitting, man. What? Jim Lee Butler's PRA looks kind of low at 29.5. That looks kind of low. We might have to attack that real quick while, while it's available, actually. I, I don't. That's kind of low for Jimmy. Am I missing something? Yeah, let's, let's, okay, let's lock in Jimmy real quick. We're going to lock in Randall Rebounds. So Jimmy PRA, Randall rebounds. We like that. Um, ooh, let's see. Let's see. We getting close. We getting close. Let's go to assist. Let's see what Luca assists is at. 8.5. Yeah, we might we might be able to lock that in. So let's let's make a play real quick. We'll go more, more, more. 
Low throw. Low throw. Ah, oh, man. Let's see. Yeah, we'll throw ten dollars on it, right? We'll make it a power play. And let's see if uh, we can get lucky with an early first look. Uh, so that's the first look um, pick of the video. You know, I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. So feel free not to tell if you if you're not feeling it. Uh, if this video can get 100 likes like yesterday, then uh, I'll come out with a final look video. If not, then maybe we'll just wait till tomorrow. But uh, yeah, thanks for the support too. I also noticed that I got over 1K subs, 1,000 subs. So thanks for the support and all that. Um, I know you guys have been asking me to make a Discord and stuff. I'm, man, I can't... I gotta look into it. I gotta look into it. You know, I've been on Discord, like I said, for a minute. I just haven't managed one before, so I don't. I know a lot of scams going in. A lot of scams go on in Discord, and I just want to try to avoid all that. You know, people always got nefarious intentions sometimes, so you know, can't click on any links and stuff like that. But we'll see. We'll see. But for now, I just want to get these videos out here and get get you guys. Uh, you know, so we can learn how to fish and just see where we might want to focus in on, because we are betting on coin flips. Like this stuff is too close. Like, man. Anyway. With that being said, thanks again for watching, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Until then, let's cash. Peace.